Hi, welcome to Girl Talk. We have a great show today. We've got Rosie Cheeks on, Orange Theory Fitness, and myself. Yeah, who, are, who are you? Yeah. Yeah, so I'm with Bella Domicile talking about closets. Um, so kind of exciting thing for me to talk about. But and we're filming here. Yeah, yeah. 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 beautiful. Today. Yeah. Yeah, so um, Rosy Cheeks probably helps many little girls fill their closets um, yes. with all of their dance gear and, and uh, tutus and etc. The list goes on, so we'll learn more about that. Yeah, Rosy mm -hmm. Cheeks has been around a long time. That's one thing that's so cool about this show is I'm born and bred from this area and I continue to learn about yeah. um, businesses and, and folks that have been around this area for so long and uh, I have never heard. So Rosie Cheeks, and I was even in dance and gymnastics and those things when I was little and, uh, and I hadn't heard of them. So very cool. And she sews some of her own things, mm -hmm. which is, is really neat. So it's not just uh, some stock item that everybody right. has the same. It's very customized. Yeah. yeah. Right. I can't wait to check it out. I'm kind of just curious what they all have in there. I bet it's really cool. Sure. And it's not shop. just for little kids, too. It's for yeah. um, adults that do ballroom dancing. Mm -hmm. Have you guys ever done that? You know, always, no, it's I like haven't. on my bucket list, I think. Yeah. Mm. My very good friend was a professional dancer for a while. Oh. A ball, well, a professional ballroom dancer. Oh. And um, gosh, I would see her in like these Facebook photos with these amazing gowns on oh, and like yeah. her posture was always just incredible and I always wanted to, you know, uh, take over that kind right, of right. That feeling. Seems so glamorous. It does. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. In college I took a ballroom dancing class with my college boyfriend. How were you? Oh I loved it. I <laughs> oh loved it. Gosh. What was really cool is then later on we had gone to a wedding as a couple and we were doing all the foxtrot and the waltzes and all that stuff and, and there were a lot Stealing of... Stealing the show. Yeah. <laughs> there were people like, wow, those are just kids. Just, you know. Yeah, that's neat. It, it was neat. Do you it remember good, it? Rem could oh, you how do to the, do it? Yeah, Ooh, could you do it today? It's been, <laughs> what, two, three years since college. Right, yeah. <laughs> right, right. So, yeah. <laughs> it's um, a good thing to <laughs> I really did enjoy it, though. I highly yeah. recommend it. Yeah. yeah, very cool. It's a very romantic thing that I think have, has gotten lost in, right. in our age. Um, dancing and... Even with and the Dancing seeing. with the Stars being so popular. Oh, yeah, it has been, yeah. Well, yeah, and people just watch it on TV now instead of doing it themselves. Just like cooking, right. people just watch it on TV. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Probably a good way to stay fit. That's kind of fun. Exactly, you yeah. Know? It's a good way to so, stay healthy and yeah. Yeah. a different kind of activity. Our mm -hmm. guest, Orange Theory Fitness, is coming on, and they have a, a very personalized approach to right. fitness. And mm -hmm. that's really popular right now. Everybody's wearing these Fitbits and uh, the Jawbone bands, the things that give you all your personal stats. And I think, yeah. I think. I think it's cool that it's getting more popular. I think so yeah, too. I love it. I go there. And so you wear your heart rate monitor and you're watching always to get in the right zone that you need to be at every different, you know, whatever the instructor's mm -hmm. telling you. So when you, you say watching, they actually have it posted on the oh, yeah. wall, don't they? So yeah. you can see not just your stats, but everybody's. Mm -hmm. but, oh, you know, wow. You know, everybody's? Yeah. That's pretty cool. You don't necessarily know everybody's name in class, right, so right. you don't really, you know, have a friend. Um, that's there, so you might see them, but you, you, you're, you're Does working it make out, you more so you're just looking at yours, yeah. really. Right. Does it make you more competitive and With want yourself, to push? I think. Yeah. So. It holds yeah. you very Not accountable. Definitely, yeah. yeah. Like, <laughs> yeah. You know, that is kind of fun to just like try to keep up, but <laughs> <laughs> but but I think the best part is then it emails you your your results from class and oh, shows so you cool. how many minutes you were in each zone and yeah. Oh wow, fun. that's very cool. So you can kind of go back and look at it. Technology yeah. these days, so it's, I know, it's coupling it's crazy. with crazy. Yeah. Is. So, you know, I just saw something recently. Um, I think her name is Tess Holiday. She's a super size model, a size 22. Um, that's uh, was recently just on People magazine, I think. I think it was People. And I was wondering if you guys ever feel that conflict of, you know, you open a magazine and they teach self-love, you know, you should love yourself the way you, you are, and then later <laughs> on it's like, but you should have great, you know, abs yeah. or... <laughs> yeah. It is so conflicting. I just watched this really awesome interview with Melissa McCarthy on yeah. the Ellen I Jones saw that show. Yeah. You saw that yeah, same I did. interview? Yeah. And like, she just uh, reached out to this reporter that mm -hmm. commented on her size and how she looked and kind of in a negative aspect. And, oh. and she approached him later in a way um, kind of regarding his own children. And it made him think about it a little bit different. Oh. Like every time a woman sees or a girl sees something, it should empower them, not right. cut them down in, in one way or another. Mm -hmm. 
I just thought that was pretty awesome. Yeah, it was very cool. It was cool to see a celebrity take that kind of standpoint. Yeah, mm -hmm. initiative and just like yeah. they don't all have to fit your exactly to you or whatever. Right, right. Well, we've got to take a commercial break. When we come back, we will meet Orange Theory Fitness. They're the new kids on the block right after this. Welcome back to Girl Talk. Well, if fitness is something that's on your to-do list, we have a new kid on the block that we'd like to introduce you to. Orange Theory Fitness is joining us today, and with me, I have fitness coach Betty Guerrero. There you go. Go I'm ahead. calling her Betty G, because that's so much easier. <laughs> that's a good arm roll, though. Thank you. We practiced ahead of time. <laughs> Welcome, Betty. Thanks for joining Thank us. Thank you for having me. So, Orange Theory Fitness, tell our viewers what you folks are all about. So Orange Theory is a 60 minute workout. It's half endurance, half strength training and power. Halfway through the workout, we actually flip groups. Mm -hmm. So basically you're getting a well-rounded all around workout. Everybody works, uh, wears heart rate monitors. So, you know, it's very, very particular to everyone. You can see live your progress in the actual uh, monitors on the studio. So you can definitely see, you know, if you're getting your minutes in those orange and red zones that we, you know, talk about all the time. We work under five different heart rate zones actually, mm -hmm. focusing on the green zone, the orange zone, and a little bit of the red as well. Um, you know, you get a lot of calories burned and you also work your muscles, which is really good in under 60 minutes. That's a lot in 60 minutes, yes. it sounds like. <laughs> you know, I've, I've worn a heart rate monitor before and it's very, it keeps you going, yeah. I think. When you see like that high number, you're like, oh mm -hmm. yeah, I'm there. It's that keep it burning. Yes. Yes. Where exactly. you are. Yeah. Yeah. It keeps you honest. Mm -hmm. Well, and even getting back down, and it's, you, you really have to work to get in the different zone. Sure. It's really cool. So I know from personal experience mm -hmm. about um, why Orange Theory is, or what they're different. Um, so tell the viewers why you're different from other places. So something that I really love about OTF is that literally anybody can do a workout. Mm -hmm. I've had deconditioned citizens and I've had marathon runners, you know, running side to side on the treadmill. It's very, you know, particular, but at the same time, everybody goes at their own pace. You can get a really good workout. It doesn't matter if you've never lifted a dumbbell in your life or if you've been weightlifting for your entire life, you will both be challenged equally, which is that's and everyone I love. has to start somewhere. Yes. Right? And so that's, that's where having the, that personal feedback of the heart rate monitors is so nice because you can have two people next to each other in totally different levels of fitness, but they're looking at their own fitness, yes. right? So and both of them are being challenged in a very similar way, even though they're different in different levels of fitness, basically. But you will be on the orange zone, even if you're an athlete marathon runner, mm -hmm. and I can be a deconditioned citizen and I will be on that same heart rate zone as you. So basically, it doesn't matter where you start, you'll be getting an awesome workout. Just awesome. So what's currently going on? So right now we are um, more than halfway through with our weight loss challenge actually. So when we did our midpoint weigh-in, we were about three weeks in and on average we had people that were losing on average three and a half pounds, which is really, really good progress. In total, we had a total weight loss of over 160 pounds in just um, three weeks, which is... And it's posted like up on the mm -hmm. wall yes. there, so it's really motivating and exciting to see that people are making progress. So mm -hmm. this is something that's been, uh, it's a weight loss challenge for uh, your members. Uh, so they would sign up, um, their members, they're required to go um, work out a minimum of an average of three times a week. Uh, we get the coaches to give them feedback on their nutrition. Um, we have them log their food and all that, so. Speaking of nutrition. Awesome. Yes. Can you uh, offer our viewers a, a nutrition tip or two? Oh, so this is something that I really love to talk about because more people don't understand that the workout is tough, but actually that is not really the hardest <laughs> part about the whole thing, yeah, is you know, what you do, what you eat before and after the workout. Saying no to Ben and Jerry. <laughs> you know, and this is a really good... It is the hardest part. This is a really good thing. I am a big fan of ice cream and donuts. You know, I will not sit here and preach only eat vegetables. We love points for honesty. Yeah. We avoid that. So yes. the important thing is that, you know, you make sure that you're working really hard with your workouts. How you eat before your workout, it's very important. You don't mm -hmm. want to just go into an orange 
you work out on an empty stomach because even though you know fasted cardio has been you know pretty much a very popular thing we're doing a lot of strength training yeah, and you're gonna need, need a lot of energy so a good mix of protein and carbohydrates both before and after your workout so maybe like a bowl of oatmeal and some egg whites can be a really good thing after you're done with your workout you know some sweet potato with a nice serving of you know lean chicken or fish awesome and mm, then go. in the weekend if you do want to get that ice cream you can probably do that if you aren't <laughs> <laughs> we're about out of time if people want to get involved just give us a call at the number on the screen um we can contact you with one of our awesome essays and they will give you the whole you know all about what orange theory is so mm -hmm. orange theory fitness <laughs> uh, stay tuned right after this uh the exercise experts have another little bit of tips for us so stay tuned right now Welcome back to Girl Talk. Well, I know my days of tutus and uh, leotards are long gone, <laughs> but if you have a little one that's into dance, gymnastics, or even figure skating, we have someone that you need to meet. With us, we have the owner of Rosie Cheeks and Company. This is Mary Lou Reinwand. Thanks for joining us. Thanks. Now, this is really cool. She's been around Madison for many, many years. What, 20 plus years? 20 plus, yeah. So tell our viewers what your company is about. Um, if you have, as you said, a dancer, gymnast, skater, if you are into ballroom dance, this is the place you come and we're supplying all the needs for apparel for all those activities. From kind of head to toe, right? You've got head dresses and shoes and things like that. Exactly. Wonderful. Well, I, I don't really know that much about ballroom dancing or dancing in general, but what makes your store special and unique? Well, we not only carry um, most of the name brands that you will find, um, you know, in any other store, mm -hmm. but I produce the Rosie Cheeks Originals brand, so we Very we cool. make okay. um, all our own designs in leotards and little tutu skirts and <laughs> fluffy things and gymnastics leotards and all that for um, a special needs. We can alter different sizings too. So, so oh, you are a seamstress. A seamstress, yes. So yes. then, with all the clothing, can you get the shoes there too? Yep, we or? sell dance okay. shoes. For all ballet, tap, jazz, whatever. Mm -hmm. And ballroom dance shoes are they're kind of special. They're not just fancy dress up shoes, right? right? They're very special shoes and they require um, a special fitting. You do not want to order your ballroom dance shoes online. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, so you said um, that you guys carry shoes and tutus and things like that, but what sets you apart from other stores in the Madison area? Well, just the, the service aspect okay. and the fact that we, we can look at the child when, or the adult right. when they come in the store and say, this is the leotard that will fit you, this fits your body, so it's very this customized. is the shape that works yeah. for you. Yes. Wonderful. So then with all of that, do you do sizing and help with? Yep, we do all the sizing mm -hmm. and, uh, you know, specialty stuff. That can be a big deal. I, I remember back from my gymnastics days, you want a leotard that's not going to go anywhere, that just <laughs> exactly. doesn't distract you from <laughs> what you're trying to do. Um, talk a little bit more about the gymnastics and... Um, yeah, well, that, that's true. You, you know, you want to be one with the garment, one with the shoe, mm -hmm. whatever, you know, you're buying. You don't want to be worrying about the straps falling here or right. this falling or <laughs> creeping up <laughs> that end otherwise too. So we also with our gymnastics leotards design a lot of shorts that coordinate. They're just oh, little short oh, shorts. Nice. But they make the gymnast or the dancer a little more comfortable, you right. know, in that apparel. Because they don't want to be focusing on their clothes. Right. They want to they focus don't want to be pulling. They, right. they should be able to do the sport, not have to think about what where your garment is going. Yeah. Okay, very but nice. But still look adorable. Exactly. <laughs> That's important. Fashion yeah. statement. That's very yeah. important. important. Exactly. <laughs> So the, let's talk just a little more about the ballroom shoes because obviously you're outfitting little people and big people too. Um, yeah. For the ballroom dancing though, the shoes, um, some are flexible, is that right? I think. Yes, we have, um, th that would be a Latin shoe, so they actually bend a lot more. And then you have standard shoes which are stiffer and made for um, waltz, 
Foxtrot your standard classes. Oh, and isn't then, that interesting? I have no idea. About yeah, me. there's a lot. <laughs> either. And there's you know there's open toes, there's closed toes, closed toes. There's you know glitter and glitz, and then there's basic heels for those of us that are a little older and cannot handle all those big heels. So there's a variety. And don't they have a special bottom? Yep, they all have them? suede bottoms, so they will slide and spin on the floor much better than, you know, and they're, they have a very yeah. solid So if I ever pick okay. that up, I come and see. And you can come, we get a yeah. lot of brides. They come in oh, and, because, oh, okay. you know, if you're a bride, you kick your shoes off because they hurt after, you know, and these <laughs> right. you can wear all day. Oh, that's very nice. Yeah, very much. So again, nice. sizing and getting just the right fit and Correct. Uh, is also important. Well, we're just about out of time. What if people want to check you out? Where do they go? Um, we're at Westgate you? Mall. So you just come to Westgate. Our hours are posted on our website. We do have a Rosy Cheeks and CO website. And we have a Facebook. So any of those will find us. There you go. Thanks. Well, great. Thanks for joining us You're today. Welcome. When we come back, we'll be with actually Carly Miller talking about <laughs> Bella Domicile, which means beautiful home, but they're going to help us beautify our closets. I know mine mm -hmm. needs a little help there, too. <laughs> we'll see you right after the break. Hi, and welcome back to Girl Talk. This is a segment that you've all been waiting for. I think we've all kind of been waiting for. Yes. Bella Domicile is going to help us out with our closet organization, which mine is a disaster. <laughs> As I'm sure, uh, Apricot Lane, Missy here, can yeah. speak the same. Close horse. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. Carly Miller is going to help us out with that. So, Carly, tell us about uh, the most common challenges people have with their closets? Well, I mean, it's pretty common for people to have that standard shelf with a rod in your closet mm -hmm. that probably came with the home or the building yeah. just did <laughs> it like that, right? So yes. you can so only put so many coats on it or it might <laughs> yeah. like Exactly, yeah. exactly. Yeah, okay. <laughs> right? So, so, I mean, maybe you need more storage that's closed or more storage that's uh, shelving instead of all just one big old rod. So, mm -hmm. uh, I mean, just getting a little organizational system in there um, is really helpful. Sure. Mm -hmm. Well, absolutely. Yeah, definitely. You always want, I feel like I'm always wanting a bigger closet and I try okay. to get rid of clothes, but I always need a bigger closet. So what kind of trends are you seeing? Are you seeing bigger closet spaces in newer homes? Well, gr that's a great question. Some, some new homes are, are definitely getting that big closet mm -hmm. in if you can, but that all comes towards your square footage. So right. if you're like trying to keep your house a certain size and lean, we need to cut the closet. But I think that that's okay, like doing these medium-sized closets and just using a, a system to organize everything. So it's that's true. If you go challenge. bigger, I think you end up just filling that space, yeah. right? Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> so what are some of the, the typical popular ideas that you're seeing in Organizing. Well, you have your standard rods and shelves that we're talking about right now, but um, maybe you want extra shelving for like in the winter you're folding mm -hmm. up your uh, sweaters instead, or or maybe you want, I don't know, space for your thing, bulky boots, and yeah, 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 yeah. Hats and mittens, and I need them all in separate areas. Yeah, so there's like bins for that, or um, drawers, I know some people, I, I keep my jewelry in the closet, so you can do drawers that can keep everything organized there. Um, or even some closed wall storage. Um, closets are looking prettier, so. I know you're the, you're the best person to ask for this. What advice do you have when people are like trying to plan out their closet uh, sketch? Um, so I always say kind of get it, it inventory going on what what you all have okay so I need a lot of space for my jeans or whatever it might be and kind of have an idea of what you what you're keeping you know sometimes we have to go through and pare down a little bit too mm -hmm. um, <laughs> yeah. um, but you're, you, if you have an inventory in mind and then start thinking either on your own or with a designer on okay is it best to hang some of this stuff fold it for shelves or do I want drawers for socks or whatever and and just kind of thinking through your, uh, 
Yeah. That yeah, that was hard for me because I wanted everything on a hanger at one point mm -hmm. to see everything, but then things get you know like stretched out and we just together. don't have room, exactly. right? Yeah. yeah. Well, and that's another thing too. Over time, you might realize or gather more things or <laughs> whatever. You might realize oh, that shouldn't be on a hanger. It's kind of ruining it. And so you do adjust over time, and these closet systems can be adjustable. So what's most important to you, also? Probably oh man! Be at the front face. So huh? that's right. definitely you know like their fav there's favorites for each individual person. But I love the like tie or belt racks for your scarves because scarves have been a real big thing over the last few years and haven't we all collected? Yes. You know how many I have a lot of them. So <laughs> no, hanging yeah. those. You buy them for yourself, but like gifts. <laughs> yeah. How mm -hmm. many scarves do you get for Christmas? Oh, I know a lot. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> you, yeah. Well, talking more about um, designing the closet, what are some cool features that you have available to closet spaces? So again, we talked about the, the roll-out trays and, and mm -hmm. all that kind of thing, and the, the, there's closed storage. Maybe in a large closet, you can do an island. Um, oh, another you know, another cool thing that I've been seeing is wanting a window in in the closet, which is really nice. It brings in some natural light, so it's yeah, not such a closed in. Yeah, get some air flowing there and yeah. make it not so stuffy. Yeah, another thing too is there's a few different colors out there. I think at one point um, closet systems were white, 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 mm -hmm. and there are additional colors out there too. So it's kind of um, uh, brings a design aspect of it. Why so. do you think that is with the white, white, white? Uh, it was the materials that were they were using for it. So. I think that's a great idea with that natural light, um, especially during the winter when yeah. I was getting ready for you know girl talk in the morning. I have no natural light in my house, <laughs> and so I'd get dressed and then I'd show up at girl talk two hours later. It's like, did I really wear that? Oh, <laughs> not get dressed in the daylight. Yeah, yeah so. being able to see is is really nice. Mm -hmm. So being organized and having good lighting can help you see what you have and and figure things out. So these um, fun little trends, you said the island, the windows, are you seeing these closet systems being used in other areas of the home too? Definitely. So the number one, aside from your closet, of course, would be a pantry, like your walk-in pantry. Oh, okay. So um, again, it can kind of look really nice if we're using some of those different colors aside from white maybe, or you're using some doors or drawers and that kind of thing. It can really organize your pantry. Um, otherwise, even maybe think of it for a uh, basement, like your toy storage or something like that. Um, another one, maybe it would be good for somebody's garage. So You know what they say about storage, box. it's all about the retrieval. You can retrieve <laughs> yes. it. If you can see it, yeah. find it, it retrieve it. That's yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. true. Exactly. And, and like I said before, like what's most important to you? Like Let that, let that be at the beginning. Exactly. Because yeah. That's what I always seem to lose. Yeah. <laughs> so Carly, how do they get in touch with you? How can our viewers at home yeah. come to you for some help? Well, we're located on Nesbitt Road. Uh, so stop into the showroom. Otherwise, of course, calling or uh, checking out our website, sending an email. So. You have a wonderful mm -hmm. Facebook page, which is uh, very easy to uh, mm -hmm. go through, manage, of course. Um, please check them out. Uh, Bella Domicile off Nesbitt Road. Come see Carly. They're all wonderful here. They'll help you out with anything that you need from kitchen to closets to home decor, really. Mm -hmm. uh, thank you for tuning in to Girl Talk, and we'll see you next time.